Hey everyone, welcome to Mixology for Nology. I'm your host, Peter Steve, and today we're gonna to make a punch that is one of my absolute favorites. So let's figure out how to make K-Mongo. <laughs> Last week, I wanted to listen to the Les Baxter album, uh, K-Mongo. I kept asking my computer to play it, uh, and it absolutely refused to do so, until I finally said, all right, uh, play Q-Mango, and it did. And I was thinking, Q-Mango? Wait, Cucumber Mango? That sounds like an interesting combination for a cocktail. Um, so we're coming up, we've got less than 30 days until Tiki Caliente. I actually wanted to reprise uh, the cocktail that I had done a year ago for my room party, uh, Brunch Punch, uh, award-winning, uh, but because of some issues with the weather, uh, there just really aren't any strawberries to be found, uh, and the ones that are around just aren't any good. And so I thought this was a perfect opportunity to update this cocktail uh, with just a different type of flavor. I've already tested this once, uh, the mango ends up being a little bit more subtle, so like kind of an undernote, but it really brings out the flavors of the uh, cucumber and the absinthe. Uh, it makes a wonderful combination. So let's figure out how we're gonna make this. This is a two-day cocktail. So if you're watching this, start now. Um, <laughs> because if you need it for the weekend, uh, you gotta have a day to prep this one. All right, so let's figure out what's in this and build this up. Uh, what we're gonna be using today, we've got about one cup of brown sugar. We're using one cup of freshly squeezed lime juice. We've got about a half cup of absinthe. I've got some mango here. Now, if, you're, if, you're, if you've got a very ripe mango, you probably only need to use one, but if it's a little unripe, uh, maybe throw two in there just so you can get a little bit more flavor out of it. And then a single cucumber sliced up. Now, I've sliced this fairly thick uh, because, uh, you know, th th these actually end up being very, very delicious uh, once they've soaked through. Um, but if you're serving a lot of people, you probably want to slice it a little bit thinner so that everybody can get a little bit of it, especially good as a garnish. Um, and then there's two and a half cups of water. I've already put the water into our big jug. And all we're going to do is we're going to add all this together and store it in the fridge overnight. Just hit the 24 hour mark and wow, this looks amazing. In fact, I think we need to roll some fisheye footage really quick. All right, so there's one last step here. We just need to add the champagne. I'm using an individual bottle of champagne. Uh, this is about six ounces. Technically, we need about eight ounces to really make this, this cocktail sing, uh, but this is good enough. In fact, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, some leftovers from uh, the last video. Uh, if you saw Les Poissons, it was also a champagne cocktail. Uh, I had a little bit left over, so I'm going to put that in there before it goes flat. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out. So let's just add this in. And let's get our extra right here. Let's just stir this up really quick. Oh, this looks, oh man, this looks amazing. I can, I can smell this, the, uh, the, the absinthe and the cucumber and that mango is just melded perfectly. This is going to be a tasty cocktail. So let's serve this up and, and just see how, how well we've gone. All right, who's going to be at uh, Tiki Caliente this year? Um, you know me, room 135, Saturday morning. There's a really good chance that this is gonna be the punch that we serve because this seems like it is gonna be outstanding. So let's check it out. Pour a little bit. Let's get a little bit of a garnish. We got some mango and some of that cucumber. And let's check this out. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, this was the absolute right combination. Um, it's mellow. 
uh, it's got a little bit of sweetness, but that uh, champagne kind of adds to the to the bitterness there. That that crisp at sour apple in there. Um, this is just phenomenal. Um, so let's hope we see you. I know there's a few wristbands left for those of you who want to go to Tiki Caliente. Uh, I'm your host, Bitter Steve. This has been another uh, improv cocktail, uh, mixology, phrenology. Hope to see you at the next video.